PUBG Mobile right now, and it's actually better than M4. Thank you PUBG Mobile for sponsoring this video. Some of you may have already tried Honey Badger in the new update 2.4, but I didn't like the insanely high recoil this weapon has. In this video, not only I will give you the detailed guide, but also show you the reason why you should replace M4 with this weapon. Firstly, Honey Badger has a faster fire rate and the damage than M4. Let's watch these comparisons. Honey Badger also has the lowest horizontal recoil among all the weapons in PUBG Mobile. Why does it matter? Because horizontal recoil is often giving players a hard time to control, while vertical recoil can be managed easily by adjusting sensitivity. This unique recoil pattern actually made Honey Badger one of the best weapons in PUBG Mobile if you customize the sensitivity for it. This is how your sensitivity should be adjusted. If you are a full gyro player like me, turn all of your scope sensitivity up in the ADS gyroscope section. The goal is to make the way you control Honey Badger's recoil and M4 recoil the same. Same rules apply if you don't play with the gyro. Turn all of your scope sensitivity up in the ADS section. Surprisingly, the best attachment for Honey Badger in my opinion is actually Suppressor if you master this weapon completely, because it gives you the option to play stealthy without compromising much stability of your spray compared with the equipping compensator. However, this weapon does fall behind on single fire mode. you can do very accurate fast tapping like M4. Now, let's take a look at how I use Honey Badger in real matches. What do you think about this new weapon? Let me know in the comment section down below if my customized sensitivity fits your playstyle. Thank you PUBG Mobile again for sponsoring today's video. I'm